what's up welcome back to the channel uh, today I'm just going to show you a really quick video on how to use the UV um, uh, dye to find a leak this is my wife's 08 Nissan Altima um, it has a power steering leak uh, I already changed the power steering pump um, that was the original leak that I found and I can actually show you that pump really quick pump in of itself and I do have a uh, I do have a video of changing this that I put up but the leak was coming from right here uh, if I cut off the lights really quick you'll be able to see that there's a glow so the leak was coming in between the leak was coming in between this here now after I changed this because my luck is always the greatest uh, the um, high pressure hose began to leak and actually a really bad leak. So I ordered a new high pressure hose off of the uh, rockauto.com uh, but I figured I would show you uh, the UV just so if anybody has never used this before. Now obviously I put this in a couple of days ago that's why this is empty but if you just want to see uh, the product there. I uh, got this from O'Reilly's it was like five or six dollars super cheap but this is a very easy way to find your leak um, simply uh, for me at least I just take the die uh, for the power steering pour it into the power steering pump it's one ounce uh, you can pour half or pour the whole thing whichever way um, I clean off everything I possibly can uh, and, and then I let my wife drive around for a few days jack it back up take a look at it with the black light and um, find my leak. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. Uh, so we'll go under the car and I'll show you where my leak is. All right, so that is the high pressure um, hose that's running into the uh, back opinion or whatever it runs to. Um, so I'm gonna cut off the light here and then you'll be able to see how the die works. So if I point right there, you're able to see that it is leaking. Now, it looks like it's just leaking on the threads, uh, but it actually, if you see at the top there, uh, above the threads, uh, I'm getting fluid from the top. Now I know that this isn't splashback because I actually cleaned it all off uh, before this video and then let it sit for a while because it will just leak where it sits. So it's actually probably some sort of crack or some sort of tear or something in between where that coupling is. So, uh, but anyways, that's how you do it. So. You just need uh, that dye, a black light, and uh, it's pretty easy to find a leak. All right, so I'm done with this. Now I need to go fix it. Have a good one.